when there is a letter thanks for playing cooking diary here's a present thank you cooking diary grandpa do you hear fireworks i think the city has started celebrating lunar new year what already delineata no time to explain start the truck and let's drive to dragon square quickly and let's go Grandpa, why are you rushing to get to Dragon Square? We have plenty of time to get ready for the celebration. This has to do with the legend of Dragon Brothers. In the old days, they were four brothers living in Tasty Hills. Right from childhood, the brothers competed against each other in everything. But each time it happened that they were equal. And so they asked a sage to come up with a competition for them. And they agreed to consider the winning brother to be the master. That's an interesting story. Let me just start the first level and then I can put together the whole story for you. Wow, it's looking so nice. Wow, the customer ordered our signature chicken with carrots. Chicken with carrots? First, take some chicken, okay, and cook it in a deep pot. That will help to stay juicy. Already, it's time to take the chicken off the stove. The next ingredient is carrots. Your assistant will gladly add them to the dish. Okay, gladly. My grandpa told me carrots used to be purple. Can you imagine? And some soy sauce to the dish and it's ready. And that was nice. Let's move on to where? Like a level 10 or something like that. And at level 5 we have leek that will add a piquant flavor to our to our dishes. Also we have two stoves which will be much much easier now to cook here and at, at level 10 now there's a fresh fish on the food truck menu fresh fish that's only the name of the meal fresh fish <laughs> okay the sage ordered the brothers to go in different directions the last one to return to the center would be the winner leonard are you telling the old legend of the dragon brothers again let me guess are you going to feel full the prophecy what was it a southern dragon square holds treasures for the one who reaches in the time i'm sorry to disappoint you but i've searched the entire square and found nothing i'm going back to the city i don't want to waste my time here Crichton was right, this is just a square, no treasures. Is the legend of the Dragon Brothers more fiction? And Alinata, this square holds treasures that don't fit in any pocket. Just look around. We're just in time. The trees are in full bloom. The air is filled with the scent of spring. Can you feel it? Now I understand that the treasures of the first dragon brother mean the memories of this beautiful place. 
they are priceless. And from here, uh, let me start reading the diary because it's really, really been so, so long time ago. I didn't um, read to you from the diary some stories. So let's start reading and playing the food truck. And it's getting hard to go to the page you want, in my case, uh, page 60, oh how... And it's called Power of the Mind. Who would have thought that we would meet Uncle Roger's outer ego so soon? The second Roger has proven to be far more strong-willed, so much so that he even stole a rare stone Charoit from the city museum. Good thing we found a way to help Roger without breaking the wall. It's amazing that Andy Therius was able to work with Uncle Roger. Together they've already figured out where to find Nymphadora. Next story, story number 61, is called Purple Secret of the Forest. Perhaps the forest near cooked pines really is enchanted. Today the forest revealed one of its most extraordinary secrets, a cave with the deposits of the rare stone charit. Who would have thought that this unique stone could be found so close to Tasty Hills? And we never would have known if Uncle Roger hadn't come back to the culinary capital. Every time I meet someone new, I get a new perspective on Tasty Hill and get to enjoy another extraordinary adventure and something tells me there will be many more fascinating adventures ahead of us next story is called furry talent i won't forget today for a long time i've always hoped that we'd get celebrities coming to our restaurant and my dream came true but as always not quite the way i expected the internationally renewed dancing rabbit escaped from her cage just at the moment when Monsieur Le Chan arrived. It never rains, but it pours. As they say, fortunately, they managed to find carrots before Monsieur Le Chan found out about her and his inspection was a success. But that wasn't the end of it. One of our customers turned out to be a screenwriter and apparently our story helped him to think of a plot for his latest project. Who knows, maybe they will make a film about us. Story number 63, which is called Mutish Patua Prototype. Creighton never fails to impress me with his in inventiveness. The time he decided to take advantage of Uncle Roger's good nature and trick him into hanging over the prototype of the Mutish Patua. We could never have guessed that he would use it to try and become mayor of Tasty Hills, which would all be fine except that Creighton would undoubtedly have used his power to close down all the restaurants in the culinary capital and create a monopoly for himself. The prototype was powerful enough for Creighton to serve all residents in his restaurants. And just imagine the prototype isn't half as powerful as used this moodish patua. I'll have to train even harder as a chef to compete with that sort of power. Story number 64. One great, great story. Family Jam. To be honest, I've been wondering for ages 
how Alex and Saul would work together. Those two were destined to think up some kind of project together. When Saul asked Alex about her jewelry, it seems to me that the girl hesitated for a moment. It's good that Saul's an experienced interviewer and was able to turn the conversation in such a way that she felt comfortable and confident. As a result of this meeting, we learned a little more about Alex and her family, and that was great. Return to the light. Johnny. Today Johnny almost left us. He thought that we didn't appreciate him properly in this restaurant, and it was all because of Creighton, he decided to use the divide and rule principle and try to split up our team. Creighton offered Johnny the job of head chef in one of his restaurants and apparently told him all sorts of rubbish. We were very close to losing our dear Johnny, but thankfully Johnny managed to make the right choice and turn Creighton down. Hidden possibilities. Martin Price surprised everyone when he said he wanted to join the Tasty Hills Peppers football team. I have to give him credit. The guy was able to make it through an extremely difficult test training. Even though Martin didn't meet even a single required standard, Mr. Regis was very happy with him. Why? As why, you ask? Because he was impressed by his unbreakable fighting spirit. Today, Martin uncovered an entirely new side of himself, showing his determination and perseverance in achieving the goals he set. He really will be a pepper someday, no doubt about it. And story number 67. Food tube. Hooray! At last Miss Jackson trusted us with an, an assignment as important as Tasty Hills Citywide Street Food Festival. I've been wanting for ages to cook something for an event that size, but there was one problem. We didn't have the resources to deliver that quantity of food to the square while still hot. But we got some help from a real hero, Andrew Martin Theorius III, the man who invented the famous food tube. Of course, it was famous for all the wrong reasons, but Andy perfected his invention and Miss Jackson approved it. Now, it will be easy for us to serve the festival. And that's it guys, that it's from this Chinese New Year celebrating food truck in cooking diary. <laughs> it was long, but, but it's true. Uh, let's celebrate together. And they uh, actually, Chinese people celebrate the coming of the spring. Everything is blooming around, like Grandpa said, and that's that's the true spirit of the coming year, the coming of the spring, which is actually true. I also like to have spring around me, and this is one, this is such a great season. So it should be celebrated and that's that's about it for this food truck for this update that we had on 
in cooking diary and for me for now it's all thanks for watching bye